Athena. The goddess my ancestors once worshipped still sits perched upon the columns of the Acropolis, make no mistake. The circling bird that would sit on Socrates' shoulder, whispering to the ear of Pythagoras and who wiped the tears from my great, 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 great grandmother's face. She came to me right after my Trojan War as I laid upon the ocean floor covered by the weight of my own tears by a crevice of brothers who I'd lost who should now be men, a shipwreck of another I may never trust again, and a barnacle encrusted rubble of a love that should have never come to an end, she came to me. She loomed as large as my own pain, spread her wings to be the size of my own faith, and motioned me to take from her that which would now be used to inscribe my own name. She closed her eyes as I grasped the feather and hardly quivered as I ripped the quill from her chest. Take it, she said, and as I did, I saw the millions of ships that she'd witnessed thick with my fellow countrymen, soldiers, pirates, all writing notes home to their wives on lines of papyrus. I saw Homer writing the Iliad and Odyssea, Prophetess Elias writing love letters to Medea, Achillea reading scrolls to the minions, and Plato just taking a note before he voiced an opinion. I saw them all. And at that moment, Apollo stood forth, took the quill from my hand, took the black sticky ink from the most ancient squid and filled it and said, look, uh, write with this ink. I mean, it comes to your defense as it has for this old squid against every fisherman who has ever lived, as it has for every anarchist, freedom fighter and activist. They'll tell you actions speak louder than words until your words make people act like this. And at that moment, King Constantino stood forth and sang. Christos anesti necron thanaton thanaton patisas ke tisentis mi mazi zoi harisameno. Lucas. Aralambus, he said, your name means light, joy, illuminated. Your first name is the same name as the first saint who painted the first icons that line our churches and are worshipped every day. You shall not be afraid. And at that moment, the ocean began to fall. The waves crashing above me began to look like clouds again. And I began to feel something like proud again. All of my ancestors stood forth and said to me, look, uh, write with this quill so that when your great, 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 Great granddaughter is in pain and needs to be freed. May you then come and stand with us so we all can give her exactly what she needs. May our air in your lungs speak new words with your tongue. Sickle bano, stand up, son. You have only just begun. And I was born in an earthquake. And I learned fate was nothing but a cross between my search and my birthplace. Blood from melt to me, winds that speak to me, where the mountains meet the sea, on and on of the dreams. I mean, east to where Minoans first made mosaics, west to where Jesus once spoke Aramaic, north of where Hypatia taught algebraic, and south of where Athenian theories were formulated. I couldn't believe my eyes when I found the labyrinth, in the ground wet from clear water, coming down a mountain. I'd never seen a labyrinth. How was I to establish it was grounded in the battle like it was a map of Nazareth town? The labyrinth grew from earth, from patterns in the dirt. Heard a battalion converge. I heard the call of birds. We all fall into a labyrinth of birth. We're all born into a labyrinth of birth on a surge. Escape and execution. I ride to retribution. Two moons in the sky, a diamond in my eye. An eagle by my side, a letter from a beggar telling me to turn six lefts and 27 rights. Assembling the evidence in a quest to find the center of this elaborate labyrinth. I've been banished to the desert and resurrected to Bedouin. is telling me the essence of why I'm eloquent and how I'm heaven sent. And then he let me know, be as powerful as the owl that glows and as wise so that you never choke. Before he left, he gave me many letters and notes and taught me how to read the sand dunes like a Rosetta Stone. And that was hieroglyphics. So he reminded that writers were invited to fight at the Olympics with their lyrics. He said, the earth is made up of words. It's a labyrinth of knowledge. We all enter at birth on a surge. I walk forthright. I pause caught sight of four knighted horsemen during swords in the torchlight. All four corners of the labyrinth were in plain sight, so I remain calm, take the reins and get my aim right. I shoot straight past. They make way but chase hard. I pray to the grace of God to lay the path. Cobblestones that God and so grotty no body knows where the autumn snow shows where our footprints go. They started shooting guns. I knew that they had won. A bullet through my lung. 
just like a setting sun. And like a setting sun, your demise is your rising once you see it from the other side of the horizon. So as I ate the dirt, it reminded me of church. I took communion from the crust of the earth. We exit a labyrinth of death. It's the same one we enter at birth on a surge. As the sun sets, the galaxy rises like a map of eternity. And I wash my eyes with the white of clouds so I can read God's fingerprints like dust on her ceiling. Under the reflection of the moon, the rain is like a spiral staircase falling onto the earth that needs to escape. As the heart of humanness hums in a canopy of a city still perfecting its call to inspiration, trees grow seeds for spring, and oceans fly south for the winter. So I walk through cemeteries of hope and see my conscience in the marble of mortality. I know the wind has a crush on me. And it won't stop until I'm caught by her currents, turned into shadows of thunder, used to resonate shards of hearts, shot into the atmosphere. We're all spores, blown by our ancestors who were as unsure of us as we are of them. So let tricks of history besiege me as I place rubies in my palms and set off into the rough, searching for answers I know may never come, looking to capture a horizon straighter than any truth I could possibly believe. A horizon that falls further away from me as I take each step into the future. And in the future, I know that I'll wrestle with my demons and the attempt to take control. At midnight, the fifth season, when even the summer's burning cold, I stare into mirrors trying to mine my eyes for gold. I guess that's why I drink spirits, because I'm searching for my soul. I've lived upon this dirt, dodging cracks in a tangled surge. Frankincense is burnt beneath my skin. I've wished on the birds. I've heard voices in the moon, seen their faces in the waves. So when the tides are at their highest, I spray their verses to my page. And I've had that ocean rise and fall for me. The doves fly in with the bats. I've had no one come to lend a hand and hundreds stand to clap. So I've convinced myself of genius and I've hated with a passion every second word I've written. Some of my pages read in pat. I've learnt the thin line between speaking and staying silent. There is no difference between keeping quiet and just preaching to the choirs. I am the hopeless and the hope, the spoken and the choked. I'm the place to pray to make it mend, and I'm the way that it first broke. I'm the message to the rest of us to never look inside unless you're ready to know your position in the consciousness of life. And I'm exactly where I want to be, and I've almost killed myself for the chance, so I hold the responsibility that comes with finding some answers. Grafo pimatas tonilio, loya practica, ramata ya tu selenes puden milanta psemata, ejun cartiers puden fovunte tapuliazas cotoso metus cleftes que fonaxo metacrifa. I have spoken to the earth in so many different tongues that I'm sure she only knows me from the volume of my lungs. We have spoken in the moon, I've heard her similes in the leaves, metaphors in the now, desires in the breeze. I have listened through my skin, osmosis through my tears, I have focused through my body. Her smoke has burnt me crystal clear because this search is not a stepping stone a journey or a path. This search is a letting go back into the shapes we were all first cast. Because we all wrestle with our demons and the attempt to take control. At midnight, the fifth season, when even the summer's burning cold, we all stare into mirrors sometimes, trying to mine our eyes for gold. I guess that's why we drink spirits, because we're all searching for our souls. And this is for my people this is for my people who celebrate the storm, who cross borders and ignore whenever they are warned. This is for my people who climbed up the mountains, never caught lounging, who light up their lanterns. This is for my people who have fought and won for the fallen ones and for those who have just begun. This is for journeyers, pilgrims on the path, forgetting the past, finding diamonds in the dark. Because you don't know when you will die. Celebrate tonight. And you don't know when light will dawn. So celebrate the storm, because you don't know when you will die. So celebrate tonight, and you don't know when light will dawn. So celebrate the storm. This is for the kids who can't even write a sentence, but police still try to get sentenced. This is for the poets and the writers, those that inspire us, warriors of the mind, fighting between the lines. 
This is for those who know the truth in their hearts and believe it even when the world tears it apart. This is for the migrants who come in on the tides, the stars that advise them to leave their lives behind them. This is for the citizens, First Nations, Indigenous. My respect for you is limitless. This is for the critics who said, I shouldn't dream. I know you only hate me because you know you can't believe. This is for the party people, Friday night relief, for the DJs who play it loud just to bring us peace. This is for my people who dance to a rhythm just to get the energy to fight the system. Because you don't know when you will die. So celebrate tonight. And you don't know when light will dawn. So celebrate storm. And you don't know when you will die. So celebrate tonight. And you don't know when light will dawn. To celebrate the storm.